she had a lot of people worried last year when bad health forced her to cancel her tour and delay her album release. But when we met up at the Ernest Tubb record store in Nashville, I found an American icon feeling great. She's the queen of country. She's a coal miner's daughter and one of country music's most enduring stars. She's also one of my idols. How are you? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm so happy to see you, Miss Loretta. How are you doing? Talk to me about how you're feeling. You know, I feel great. I feel so good that I'm ashamed to even say I feel so good. When you think about this career, 58 years as the queen of country music, can you believe it? No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it at all. Still humble a half a century later and still cranking out toe tapping honky talk music. You have a new album out. I've got a brand new album. It's called Wouldn't It Be Great. The reason this album means so much to me, it was the last song that I sang to my husband that I wrote before he passed away. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was going mm -hmm. when I sang the song. Wouldn't it be fine if you could say you love me just one time with a sober mind? It's one of my favorite all-time lines that I've ever written and I've wrote every song I've recorded. Because songwriting was just as important to you. It's as more important to me. How come? Because it's my life mm -hmm. and I write about my life. I'm in every song I've written. Can I read some things that people have said about you? A trailblazer who transformed the role of girl singer into a powerful voice for women. And I just learned that I'm the only girl singer that has wrote all her songs and recorded them and made number ones out of them after she recorded them. And I was real proud of that. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, I'm proud of that, you know. In addition to her songwriting and distinctive voice, Loretta is also a self-taught guitarist. So when she volunteered to show me how to play a few chords, I couldn't now, resist. Well, that's, a, that's just A. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next chord, yes. this one will be a little harder now. Oh, no. Take this middle finger here. Okay, I've used that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you had. As one of country music's trailblazers, Loretta has seen a lot. She was one of eight children growing up in extreme poverty in Kentucky's coal mining country. She didn't have nothing. But you had love. We had love. That's the main thing in life is love. Love that she passed on to her six children. When you look back on this crazy life, what do you feel grateful and thankful for? My kids, my family. That's what I feel grateful for. And then making it, because I've taken care of my family by doing this. Mm -hmm. Was there a point in all of this when you thought, okay, I'm going to make it? A coal miner's daughter, I knew right then coal miner's daughter made it. That story, a coal miner's daughter is your story. Your My daddy was a coal miner mm -hmm. and he worked hard. Well, what do you think he would think of you, of your life, this extraordinary life? I'd give anything in the world if he would have been here when I recorded Coal Miner's Daughter. And, uh, but I think he hears me and one day I will sing it to him. Well, I was born to coal miner's daughter in a cabin on a hill in Butcher Holler. We were poor, but we had love. That's the one thing that Daddy makes sure of. He shoveled coal to make a poor man's dollar. Oh. Yo! Wow! Wow! I, love being with her. I will say, she, she wrote so many songs for women, and it was revolutionary at the time. And she said, you know, I looked out, and women were singing along to my <laughs> songs, and I knew, hey, I've got it. Because back then, people mainly wrote songs yeah. for men, and she yeah. goes, men liked my songs, too. <laughs> yeah. So for all of our fans out there, Loretta hopes to get back on tour soon. We have to wow. go here. Yes. We all come Why don't up. we have her come here? Oh! That's a great idea. Yeah. And her album, awesome. Wouldn't It Be Great, is out now. That was awesome, Jenna.